So the Threads app by Instagram just got launched. What is Threads? Do we really need another app, especially if you're running a business? How do you get it and what are some of its limitations? First off, Mark Zuckerberg said, I think there should be a public conversations app with 1 billion plus people on it. Sounds kind of like Twitter. It's an alternative to Twitter because Mark Zuckerberg hates Elon Musk, essentially. Wants to fight him in a cage fight, separate story, but also he sees an opportunity there. He goes on to say, Twitter has had the opportunity to do this, but hasn't nailed it. Hopefully we will. So do we really need another app? If you're not even using Twitter in the first place, do I need an Instagram alternative to Twitter? Probably not. But FOMO is a very powerful force. So <laughs> a lot of people are just jumping on the bandwagon right now. But as a business owner, especially if you're a coach, small business owner, you have to ask yourself, is this the best use of my time? I wouldn't be pouring or putting a whole bunch of time, energy or money into this thing right now called threads. Because remember Google Plus? What happened to Google Plus? We were supposed to have people in our circles and those circles amounted to this circle, absolutely nothing when it came to marketing. Remember Clubhouse? Remember Periscope? So is it going to be the next kind of gold rush? You know, maybe, but there are so many other things which are the better use of our time right now, we shouldn't go head first into this. I know Gary Vaynerchuk is pushing it and a whole bunch of big people are pushing it, but Gary Vaynerchuk has a whole team of people to help repurpose all of his content. He is going to put in zero hours into this thing called threads because his team is going to. So unless you have a big team like that, it's not the best use of your time. What you should do though is reserve your username. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second. Post old content potentially, have a wait and see attitude, wait months and months and months. If it takes off, then kind of join in the conversation and actually create content just for threads. And in between now and then, try not to get FOMO and put your resources into the best use of your time, which I'll also get to in a second. Now, how do you actually get this thing called threads? So you go into the app store or you know, Android, wherever you get your actual apps from, you can see here the threads app, it's downloading. Then it says you can log in with your Instagram account. Mine is Chamtang official. Then it'll say login request sent. So you go back to your Instagram account and you can see a device is requesting access. I'm in Sydney. You hit the approve button there. Then after that, privacy, public profile, most likely. Import from Instagram, so it does the bio and any links automatically. Privacy, yes. Then follow the same accounts you follow on Instagram. I just hit follow all, that's the easiest thing to do. How Thread works, read this. Some of it is just plain confusing. The Fediverse, future versions of Threads will work. Who knows what's happening there? That may not even last, so let's skip that. Join Threads, and it just looks like Twitter, but with some limitations. You can create a post, which I did. I would recommend you check out Chamtang Official right now. And then that's pretty much it. Everything else looks fairly the same. The limitations though is you can't follow certain, like you can't see the posts from accounts that you follow. You can't search posts. You can't delete the Threads app without deleting Instagram. Big problem. I'm sure they'll fix these in due time. There's no monetization right now. You can't run ads to it or anything like that. It's not in the EU, just because they're trying to work out some of the privacy things that are happening there right now. So that is it in a nutshell. But what should you actually do? What is the best use of your time right now? I feel, download the Threads app, get the username, follow the people, people will start following you back, post some of your old content, wait and see. In the meantime, there are only four, I feel, critical things you need to do if you're a small business owner, coach, educator, influencer, and that is what I call the client attraction fast track. These are the four critical assets you need to have in your business. Bit of time it takes to explain, more than this short video. If you wanna see it in action, I've got a really short masterclass, extremely practical, no fluff, no hype, I just get straight to the point. If you wanna get a free kind of, it's not even a ticket because you watch it instantly, go to authentic.com.au forward slash grow, authentic.com.au forward slash grow, because there's a lot of distractions right now. There's a lot of bright, shiny objects, and all of the things that you see on social media, they're loud, they're noisy, they're recent, they're bright, they're shiny, they're new. But meanwhile, if you haven't nailed the main things, like the OG, Facebook, Google, actually potentially running Zoom events, email marketing. Now, email marketing, take that as an example. It's not sexy. 
people don't post about it on Instagram or threads or YouTube, but you could fill an entire coaching calendar or an entire Zoom event with one push of a button if you've been building your email list and doing it correctly. Not as exciting, but all of that was with the one click of a button and it was free. Not only in terms of free and money, but almost free in your time. As opposed to social media, you're on a constant treadmill. You gotta feed the beast every like 24 hours. You gotta keep up with all these trends, TikToks, trending things, hashtags, music to use. Now we've got new apps. I'm sure it's not the end of these new apps. So my advice is just focus on what is the best use of your time. Things that have already stood the test of time. Do not listen to the mega, mega gurus for a lot of what they say if you feel what they're saying is not what we call duplicatable. Just because they can do it doesn't mean we can do it. Just because they say, hey, don't create content, document content. Have you got $80,000 a year to pay someone to follow you around and document content? And even if you did, would they be doing anything interesting? I'm in my home office right now. If I paid someone to do that, they'd just be setting up a static camera because I'm in here most of the time. Not terribly exciting, do you know what I mean? So if it's not duplicatable, then do not copy what they're saying. Once again, if you wanna know the four things you must do instead, no fluff, getting straight to the point, practical steps of what I've discovered over the last 14 years with my company, Authentic Education, all you gotta do is head over to authentic.com.au forward slash grow, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. And if you wanna to listen to more of this kind of stuff, just hit the follow button. I think you know what to do by now. That's the last call to action.